Hello friends, it's the part 3 of uh, interview questions in LT. So let's go for the first question quickly. Uh, what is the frame structure in LT? So uh, as we know it's a 10 millisecond radio frame structure subdivided into 10 subframes each having 1 millisecond length and 20 slots. 0.5 milliseconds so that's the radio frame in both FDD and TDD uh, pattern the second one what is the subcarrier bandwidth in LT it is 15 kilohertz third question is uh, UE states we are having LT attached LT detached and in attached states we are having uh, connected and uh, idle mode RRC connected and RRC idle the next question is uh, difference between idle and connected modes. So uh, connected mode means uh, we are in connect connection with the network doing some uplink, uh, uh, you know, transmission or, you know, we are receiving something in the downlink. Idle means we are not doing anything. We are just connected to the network. We are just listening to the control signaling messages. The sixth question is uh, difference between the handovers, cell selection and deselection. It's very easy. The handovers uh, when you are in, uh, in a uh, connected mode. Uh, cell selection deselection happens when you are in idle mode. Uh, when a uh, cell is not optimal, normally you do the reselection to the other cell, the next optimal cell. And if you are in a connected mode, you do handover to the other cells as per requirement. Then uh, what is MIB and SIBs? MIB is master information block. SIB is a system information block. MIBs are transmitted in the uh, PBCH physical broadcast channel. And uh, after we read the broadcast channel, we get the system information uh, and uh, all the data from MIB. MIB is 40 millisecond length. Uh, and uh, SIBs are, uh, you know, the length of SIB is 80 millisecond. And this is transmitted uh, by a physical downlink control channels. So that's the difference between uh, MIB and SIVs. The next question would be uh, different types of handovers in LT. So we are having uh, intra LT handover, inter LT handover, and inter rat handover. So uh, intra LT means uh, inside LT. Uh, in the same frequency like from one cell to the other cell of the same node B or other cell of the uh, a new node B E node B or maybe uh, to the other MME uh, E node B so uh, this is uh, between one frequency of LT intra LT handover then in inter LT we do a uh, different frequency handovers in the same LT network then we are having IRAT handovers to the other legacy network or the other networks like handover to 2z 3z or uh, cdma 2000 uh, normally in lt the handovers are hard handover we break before make so that's all about the handovers the next question would be uh difference between x1 x2 and s1 handovers so x2 means when we have this link between e node b and e node b that is the interface if the interface does exist the x2 interface exists then it's easy to do a handover the signaling and the time we can save the time if we don't have x2 interface between the two e node b's uh, you know the source and the target so we do a s1 handover via mme so we involve mme so that's the difference then uh, what is NR? Uh, NR is a, a feature of SON. So it's uh, automated neighbor relations. We automatically detect the neighbors and we add them. Then uh, QCI and CQI. So QCI is uh, quality class identifiers. Uh, this details are then uh, PCRF. Uh, uh, you know this uh, charging and policy related function so uh, from there qci is controlled and cqi is uh, channel quality indicators so the value is from 0 to 15 so 15 being the highest and the best value